Hello everyone, my name is Jolene Schaefer and I'm the Marketing Coordinator for SWK Technologies. I'd like to welcome you to our webinar, Mobilize Your ERP, hear about industry-leading automation trends, pains, and solutions for today and tomorrow's workforce by Seth Fike of ScanCo. A little housekeeping before we get started. Everyone has been placed on mute to keep the background noise down. However, you can submit any questions you have throughout the webinar. To submit a question, look for the question section in your GoToWebinar. We will answer all questions at the end of the presentation. We are recording this presentation and it will be distributed to tom tomorrow to all attendees, as well as to those who registered but were not able to attend. Please take a moment at the end of the presentation to answer our two question survey. With that said, we appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to attend our webinar. We're here to help you get the most out of your software solutions and help you find an easier way to run your business by providing you software and industry knowledge, tools and support whenever you need it. We've invited ScanCo here today because they are the industry experts on manufacturing and distribution automation. So whether you're here doing research for a new solution or you're just here to learn, we'd like to encourage you to ask any questions throughout the webinar. Lastly, as a quick reminder, SWK is constantly sharing important updates and software tips and tricks on our social media channels. So we encourage you to follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Without further ado, I'll hand it over to Seth. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jolene. Uh, happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, as Jolene said, uh, I'm going to be presenting the Mobilize Your Workforce. So uh, we're going to be talking about some automation today, and I'm going to try to keep it fun uh, and entertaining. Just to give you an idea of who ScanCo is and who I am, uh, again, Jolene introduced myself. I'm Seth Fike. I'm a software uh, specialist here at ScanCo. I specifically specialize in that warehouse automation side. I have three years of experience and I'm really here to help deliver those ROI driven projects that we're talking about when we, when we think about efficiencies in automation. When we talk about who ScanCo is, uh, a lot of you may know who we are, a lot of you may not. ScanCo has been in this business for 30 plus years. Uh, we are the Sage preferred provider uh, and leading provider, I should say, of supply chain automation uh, throughout Sage. So um, this basically means that when you talk Sage, you typically talk ScanCo because we're that tightly knitted. Since we started that 30 plus years ago, we've really started to innovate the warehouse piece and we really started to build. So we, we started with that distribution side and we'll be going over some of that today but we've, we've really branched out to the manufacturing uh, solution, multi-bin solution, and that outside sales application that we're gonna talk a little bit also about today. So whether we're talking about just basic barcoding, uh, things like physical count, things like receipt of good entries, to really complex efficiencies in automation, talking about wave batch where we're pulling and being directed and using logic inside of Sage and ScanCo, um, we can really do it all. So we can grow with your business at scale. Um, so um, without further ado, I'd like to just kind of jump in and just talk about the agenda and go over some of the things that we're going to talk about today. The first piece of it is just the mobility solution and all. Uh, we're going to go over the, what functionalities are actually included in it. Um, maybe some a little bit about our customer base uh, and then dive into the physical count and scan code sales. I'll kind of go through this a little bit here in a bit, but those are the two transactions that we're really gonna focus on because they are included with the scan code mobility piece um, that Sage provides. And then everyone's favorite part, we're actually gonna do a demo. Um, I like to throw these demos in just to give you an idea of the workflow uh, and, and this, the time that we're actually saving you when it comes to uh, using our product. All right, so going through this, just to take a quick look at some of our customers, uh, that 2,000 plus number could probably be increased now. Um, we have a ton of customers, so we're not, uh, we've been doing this for a while. We have a ton of customers using both our manufacturing side and our distribution side. Uh, just some numbers, 400 plus manufacturing locations, multiple warehouse, multiple companies, as well as the distribution side. So what actually applications are we talking about when we talk about mobility? The two that we're going to focus on is the physical count piece and the ScanCo sales piece. To elaborate, the physical count is doing what we're doing now, which is a manual process with worksheets, clipboards, handwriting, and we're taking a scanner and we're able to scan those parts, collect that information, and do the data entry on the back end inside of Sage. 
Now I know that we have the quarter ending and we're gonna be doing a lot of counts. So this is something that we can get up and running today uh, and get you streamlining your process. On the Scanco sales side of things, think of this as an outside sales tool to be able to capture those quotes, to be able to create those quotes, I should say, to be able to create new customers, to see inventory levels in real time. So it's that true outside connection to our stage solution. So what is the physical count and how does it work and some of the, the details um, of it, and I'll read the quick blurbs real quick, but then I'll kind of jump into a story. Uh, physical count and what we're trying to do is we're trying to restore that faith in your inventory. We're trying to eliminate the data entries in that handheld, that manual approach, I should say. I had a customer that was actually dealing uh, with small parts and they were all serialized and they were doing their physical count manually. Well, the problem is once they actually wrote these down, Somebody was handed the paperwork to actually enter it. The owner of the company uh, wanted to make sure he had control. So the owner of the company was doing the data entry and spending a day or two trying to read handwriting, trying to just get this data inside of Sage so that they could collect their or run their correct variances. We ended up saving them about 70% in reduction to, uh, of physical count time, meaning that they didn't have to shut their plant down for the week that they typically did. So kind of piggybacking off of that, what is life with and without Scanco sales? And what, is it, what does it look like? I like to do this just to give you that, that without and then with and just to kind of put things into perspective. So without it, you already know this process. You're missing counts, you're, you're doing recounts, you're not even doing counts at all because it's just too tedious, it's uh, too big of a task. These counts are taking a long time because we're doing it handheld. We're taking these worksheets, we're counting everything, we're turning these worksheets in to only be wrong because something was misentered. Uh, and it's just causing hours of data entry. I gave you that story just a second ago um, to kind of help understand that piece of it. But what does it actually look like when we have a scanner? We're still gonna work off these worksheets. But instead of writing in these worksheets, we're gonna fill out the scanner and be able to scan those items, look up those items, type in those items, depending on your process. Um, and be able to eliminate that complete data entry. A really cool function that we can do is we can count frozen items or if the items are not frozen. So say we wanna go count uh, widget A and we don't wanna freeze it, we just wanna do a quick count where I have the ability to do that. We can use barcodes to eliminate and reduce those errors. So things like serial numbers, things like long part numbers, we can scan them rather than type them in rather than write them down like we're doing now to eliminate a lot of those human errors that just come with the job. So that's the physical count piece. Um, let's jump into the scan code sales because there's actually quite a bit of transactions that come with this mobility piece that we're speaking of. Scan code sales again is that outside application, but what does it do? First of all, we can create and update quotes and sales orders on the fly. We can have that access to real-time inventory, meaning that your sales reps don't have to call in anymore. They can see if an item is on back order, they can see if an item has a quantity available, if it's been allocated to something, we can check those. This also means we have access to customer and company uh, profiles. If you're doing any kind of trade shows, think of this as an asset. Instead of collecting those customers at the trade shows, on paper and then entering them into your Sage environment, we're able to now do it all in one swoop and completely make a three-step process a one-step process. So again, following suit with the with and without, what is life without and what is life with? Well, without it, we typically have a delayed quote. We have to either go back to the office and send this quote, or we have to handwrite it, which is just not a professional look. Sometimes we aren't able to complete the customer information because our handwriting was bad, or we just forgot to ask the question because we're not being prompted, we're not being guided to collect the correct information that we need. The sales call-in, I talked about this before, but this is the biggest thing that we're gonna eliminate, of calling in to, to check inventory levels calling in to check if we're at the right location, 
uh, calling in to make sure that the customer that we're talking to actually still is in our system. Maybe it's pricing that we're calling in and we're checking on that. So the, this time that we're spending, these 10, 15 minute calls, doing 10 or 15 a day, are completely eliminated with just putting a scanner in your hand and being able to do it. This is creating a longer sales cycle uh, and a longer close rate. Obviously, uh, the faster, the more money we're gonna get. So that's where we wanna get to. So with Scanco sales, what does it look like? Well, obviously we can create those quotes on the fly. If you look at my right, you can see that create new. We can create a quote, we can create a sales order. If you're doing invoices, we can do them all. We can view open or unpaid invoices. So if someone needs to pay, we can see what's still unpaid on. But the biggest thing is that real-time inventory levels. So I can check my items and my quantities on the fly without a laptop to jump into Sage, without that call-in that we talked about, right on the fly with a really sleek and professional look. That email and print confirmation, as well as that signature capture, that kind of bundles into two different things. We have the ability to create a quote, to create, capture a signature, and do what we call a proof of delivery, which means that I am actually scanning inventory out and confirming that I'm scanning this inventory out, collecting a signature, and then creating an invoice off of that based on that customer's profile inside of Sage. This also allows us to email a copy of that invoice, as well as print on a Bluetooth printer a copy of that invoice to the customer with that signature captured. So something that, again, took three, four, five steps is now a very streamlined professional product process, and we just completely scaled down that sales cycle. Jumping in to some of the automated differences, uh, I like to think of this as EAFC uh, for obvious reasons. Efficiency being the first part of it. When you come and you think automation, this is the first thing you want. You wanna be more efficient. We wanna reduce er errors and we wanna reduce those delays. Uh, I always say, let's eliminate the paper trail. But we don't wanna just be fast. We wanna be accurate as well. So then comes in the A, accuracy. So we wanna validate against the database. The database being Sage in this example, meaning that we wanna always be communicating. So because Scanco is always talking to Sage, we are always communicating back and forth knowing that our accuracy, whether we're scanning out a product, whether we're scanning a serial number, is correct. The financial piece comes into play with both of those. Because we're more efficient, because we're more accurate, we've saved more money and we're managing the complex array of the financials better, as well as decreasing our labor costs. And then the customer. The customer, to maintain a happy customer, is kind of the importance of everything. From the time that good comes in to the time that good comes out, when that customer gets it, it should be quick, it should be accurate, uh, and it should be affordable for both. Because we're able to increase these efficiencies and accuracy, we can make it more affordable for both. Some of the questions that I get when we're talking about automation and we're talking about uh, Scanco, is what kind of devices can we run on? As you can see on my right here, we actually have some iPods that the application is run on. This is because we are native to iOS and Android. So whether it's a fancy sled with a scanner, which I'm actually going to be demoing on, and an iPod acting as the brains, or a TC20, TC unit, just a Motorola Zebra unit, both options are available as well as iPads and things of that nature. So when you're thinking of the hardware side of things, think about this in whatever scale that you wanna run it on. Um, typically with these products, we can. So now let's actually jump into a demo. I'm gonna do a clean little swipe over here. And you should be able to see my demo environment. I actually have the Warehouse 100 application up on my screen, only because I wanna show you all the transactions we can do outside of what Mobility presents. Mobility, again, presents the, the scan code sales and the physical count. I'm gonna jump in and do physical counts. The typical workflow, again, 
when we're talking physical accounts is to print one of these worksheets out, go through the worksheet, present the worksheet once it's done, and then have everything entered into physical account entry. We're gonna eliminate a lot of those steps. We're gonna take this worksheet and we would typically, uh, dependent on our fields, depending on what we wanna do, be able to print this and, or excuse me, and count off of it. But now I'm gonna have a scanner in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that physical count piece. I'm gonna select my warehouse that I'm working in and let's start scanning. First of all, I wanna scan a serialized item. So any customer out here that has serialized items, typically they could be really long. We wanna make sure that's a nice, easy process. I'm in a multi-bin environment, as I kind of talked about that umbrella of ScanCo and how we've acquired multiple companies throughout the few years. Multi-bin just allows you to have multiple bins for one item throughout your warehouse. There's a lot more to it, but that's kind of the gist. We're gonna select a bin that we're pulling it from. If you're not in a multi-bin environment, that's not a problem at all. And now we're gonna actually scan a serial number. As you can see, once I scan that serial number, it's gonna say quantity scanned. I went ahead and scanned that same serial number just to show you that again, we're validating. It goes back to that accuracy point that I just scanned that same number. We have to scan a different one. So let's go ahead and scan a different one. Now that we're done here, we can go ahead and send that through to Sage. If we don't want to send that through to Sage and we just want to go to another item, we can just hit the item prompt here and scan another item. Again, it's going to prompt me to that item or to that bin. And now it's a lotted item. So anybody that's using lots that needs to capture those, again, we're gonna follow suit. And what we do here is we actually update that physical count entry piece inside of Sage. As my scanner just died. So, Eliminating those extra steps, so I pull this up. Again, my scanner just died, so I apologize for that. Thought I charged it. So let's go ahead and scan that lotted item again. Let's go ahead and select that bin. And then select that lot. Dependent on your process, we can either type in the quantity here or we can just do what I call the grocery style approach where we can scan each of it equals to one. So each item would equal one. I'm just gonna ahead and type that I counted 15 and be done. Once I'm finished, I have a few options. I can print at the top as you can see or I can just send it through. Printing is just creating a label. Again, what we did as I come through to a physical count entry and just show you, I'm clicking around. There we go. It's captured those pieces, captured those lots, and captured those serial numbers and the quantities equivalent to them based on what that worksheet said. So as you can see, we really eliminate a lot of steps and we really can reduce that time. At this point, you would, you would run your variances, something's incorrect. You could phone down to he or she who's working on the floor to go rescan this item. That's the physical counts piece. The other piece is the Scanco sales, and I'll, I'll dive into it a little bit because we have some extra time here. As I jump into it, and I type in my password,
And again, we're talking about the ability to create sales orders, to create customers, to check inventory levels. I think the best place to, ch to show you this is those inventory levels. So I went ahead and just scanned an item. I'm gonna go ahead and select that item. Now, all this information that's presented in front of me can be taken away or more information can be included. It's completely customizable based on the sales profile that we're using. But what you can see is things like tax code, things like the quantity on hand and what's actually available. Maybe we wanna see aliases that are assigned to that part number. There's a whole lot of information that we can go through. If we wanted to be at a, if we were at a trade show and we wanted to create a customer, here's those prompts that it's gonna show you to be able to create the customer. So as you can see, there's a lot of information here that we can capture and that we tell the individual using this to capture. Um, I'm gonna kind of back out here. I'm gonna flip back to these, the other slides. And I'm gonna tell everyone that I appreciate your time, um, but I also would love to kind of talk to you and see if there's anything I can help you with. Um, obviously, uh, there's a lot here, and I didn't go over everything, but if there's anything, uh, whether it's physical accounts, whether it's another transaction that you would like to see, uh, my contact information is up. You can reach either myself or any of my associates here at ScanCo, um, or you can contact SWK and Jolene, and they can get you over to me. Thank you, Seth. We'll now open it up for questions. If you have any questions, please enter them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar. And we'll give that a minute in case any come through. And just a reminder, everyone, we do have a subject matter expert here. This is a great opportunity to have your questions answered in real time. And it does look like we had a couple come through, Seth. So the first is, how easy is it to go from mobility to the full solution, and what transaction does that include? Awesome, uh, that's a great question. So the first piece is how easy is it? So mobility is included with your Sage install. So if you're in 2018.2 or up, mobility is going to be included with it. So just get with your SWK rep uh, and they'll be able to help you with that. As far as the or going from mobility to warehouse, it's super simple. Um, you really just have to reach out to me. I will schedule a demo with you to show you the product. Obviously, I want to show you something that you're looking to purchase. And at that time, if you work with my implementation team, they will get you in installed. Uh, and then the hardware that you're already using for mobility works and follows suit. As far as, as the transactions, the transactions include uh, a number of things, but the important ones are things like receipt of good entry. So being able to create those receipt of goods on the fly. So as a PO comes in, we validate what comes in, and then we create that inside of Sage. Things like transfers, being able to do a transfer rather than having to send paperwork up and submit a transfer, we can do it all on a handheld. As well as picking and shipping, we can automate that. We have a lot of different pieces to it, but those are the main transactions that most people would talk about. Wonderful. And then we have another one. How many users come with mobility? Awesome, and I, and I apologize if I missed this. This is a question I usually would like to answer. That answer is five. So whether it's Scanco sales or physical counts, we give you five users, meaning five individuals can be doing a physical count at once. Five individuals can be doing, can use the Scanco sales application at once. Now, this doesn't mean that that's five sales profiles. We can have multiple salespeople. It's just how many profiles are using it at once. Perfect. And then we have one more that came through. What does the implementation process look like? So that's a, a question that I'd love to jump on a call with you. Um, typically, the implementation, perfect world. Uh, today, you sign off, say everything looks good. Uh, we want to install it. You have a kickoff meeting with our team. And this kickoff meeting is just you going through with our team to make sure that everything, that we're buttoning up everything. Uh, at that point, they get you to our training team. Our training team gets you links to uh, not only training documents, but actually walks you through the applications and the transactions. We test and we leverage SWK's knowledge of Sage as well as the test environment to test, test, and test. And at that time, we go live. 
it's usually about a six to eight week period. Perfect. Well, that looks like all the questions that have come through. So thank you so much, Seth, for your informative presentation and for taking the time to be here today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it.